I just look worse and worse all the time. I'm embarrassed to to post this. I'm embarrassed to be on the camera looking this terrible. You know, um, it took me until now to understand that uh, I'm not getting receiving health care based on discrimination. This is what I'm dealing with. I'm going to end up losing my life based from from medical discrimination. I've known for years that this is, was happening on some level, but I didn't understand for sure that this is what's happening. I'm going to lose my life. I'm not being given the medical care I need based on discrimination, based on all the garbage in my medical records based on derogatory comments based on my medical record being flagged by former angry doctors who have injured me, who have failed me based on false inform false mental health stuff in my medical records. I'm going to lose my life from Chiari malformation from this brain condition I have. I couldn't understand that that's what is happening. I couldn't understand. You know, talking to other Canadians, talking to tons of Americans, I couldn't understand why I was continually up against a wall. It's because I'm being discriminated against. from past mental health care. And from being injured, from being misdiagnosed from an angry former doctor, and then you carry that forward and you're marked. You're now a punching bag. You're a medical punching bag. You can all sorts of So many things, once you're flagged, you're discriminated against in many ways. Like, for example, other people are waiting for three hours in the ER and you're there for 11 hours and you're watching everybody come and go. They, you know, the waiting game, wait till you get, they wait. And, and this too, uh, reactive abuse, right? make you wait, push you, push you to the, to your limit until you're almost ready to, to start swearing at them because you're so angry. You've been at the ER, in the ER for 11 hours. You've had nothing to eat that day. And you're watching people, everybody else come and go. Like, and, and they're, it's deliberate to push you, push you to your limit, right? So that you get angry. And then they say, well, see, you're out of control. No wonder. No wonder we're not dealing with you. Like, it's reactive abuse, you know? <sighs> I'm not going to get help. I'm going to lose my life. Every doctor has said, where's your family? And that will add to the discrimination. When they know that there's no one to fight for you, they're get, they can do anything they want. When they know your husband's gone or your husband's passed away and you have no family, you're a sitting duck. I'm, I'm shocked. couldn't understand like I had such cognitive dissonance like what what like do we not have qualified health care here what's what's happening this is no this has been discrimination I just was too ill to figure it out too sleep deprived
I am so sick. I'm literally being tortured. I'm not going to get help. I'm literally being tortured. Like psychologically and physically tortured without sleep. But I, you know what? This, I needed help the whole time. I needed help the whole time. I needed advocacy. I needed protection. I needed someone to fight for, for my life. Fight for health care for me. I had no idea what was happening. I'm going to end up losing my life. 